what is up my fellow subscribers well you don't even gotta be a subscriber to be honest let me just fix this real quick all right so today new keyboard guess what it is you might not guess but uh -huh. i got the queen queen package just you just wait you just wait or the king whatever you want it right here <laughs> that was dummy cringy just don't you guys remind me not to ever do that again but anyways yes today we're going to be unboxing the moto speed gk61 or ck actually ck61 yes this keyboard is like Apparent, like according to the reviews, it is one of the best budget gaming keyboards. We're gonna have to see about that. So, first out the package. Oh, how do I take this out? Well, got the keycap puller. You know, you might want to use the metal one. You know, just order it off of Amazon so you don't damage your keycaps. Or if you really don't care, then. <coughs> Then we have a a braided. Okay, so we have a braided Type C USB gold plated. Is it not gonna focus? Focus on this. Anyways, you get it. It's a USB. And then it's, it's gold plated as well, which is nice. I like that a lot. And then... Oh, we have the keyboard itself. I don't want to talk about it. The keyboard. It's a 60% mechanical keyboard. Came with... I'm not going to spoil it, but it came with the switches. So let's take it out the package. Nice and gentle, you know, don't want to hurt it. Open this. Oh, you guys didn't hear that. Whoa. The Moto Speed CK61. This keyboard it has some nice weight, not very flexible. You know, there's no back stands, but there is these grip grips that make it, you know, hard to move. There's uh, quite like the keycaps. They're nice. Let's see. Yes, we have blue switches. Those nice clicky blues. I love blue switches. I like the, the clicky noise. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like I like that. Okay. This keyboard, I can already tell. It is very, very nice. Like, I'm talking very nice. This keyboard is... Even the numbers are blue switches. That's crazy. There's some keyboards that the numbers are membrane. From 7 to 0, it's usually a membrane. But, yeah. This is a nice keyboard. Oops. Didn't mean to slam it. It's a nice keyboard. The other keycap puller. Uh, yeah, keycap puller. It's nice. Sounds good. It says it has RGB. That's what I'm excited about. Anyone else or just me? I, I, just me that's excited? Okay, okay. Well. You know. This keyboard. <laughs> Let's just get straight to the RGB. Okay. Now. Are you guys ready for the RGB? Let me turn my light off really quick. 
Okay. You guys ready? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see the different modes that we have here. So we have, I'm pretty sure you put function and I don't know what key that is. M2 it says? I don't know, but let's push it. See the different. And FN control, you can change the color. This, when you hit the key, it darkens. So control, let's do blue. Let's say I'll hit V. See how it gets dark when you push it? That's pretty cool. Let's see. What's the next one? This one's just, I guess, like a, a um, color coordination type. If that makes sense, it's like a color coordination. Yeah. Let me get close here. There's that. And then there is this one. It shows like all the gaming buttons. Yes. I like that. It's pretty cool. Then there's this one. It's like a rainbow one. And you can change the speed by hitting function. O is to speed up. And fun and while holding function, you press P, and that's to slow it down. See, now it's really slow. And then now it's sped up. So I really like that. Then there's this one. It's like the, the raindrop. You see when you push a key. Uh, let's see. Do they have any other colors? Oh, I pushed the wrong thing. Control. Oh, so they have multiple colors. So there's a, t a white one, a multicolored, a red, a green, a blue, a yellow, and a purple. Yeah. Anyways, there's different color modes. That that was that one was white. There's you know the same ones. So this one. Wait. What? Okay. Hold on. Okay. This one. I'm pretty sure every key is a different color when you hit it. Every key. Yeah. Every key is a different color when you hit it. I like that. And then what else is there? Oh, there's this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's on slow. Yeah, that's on slow. This is when it's on normal. Then let's change the color. The red one's pretty cool. The green. Oh, the green one's nice. Like, the green one's pretty cool. Oh, the blue one. I like the blue one. Yellow. Kind of looks like lime green, to be honest. Purple. Purple's nice. Ooh, like a a turquoise and then white. I want to see these slowed down though. Oh, the, the, when they're slowed down, that's nice. Green slowed down, that's nice. Blue slowed down, that's nice. They're all really nice. <laughs> Ooh, the purple slowed down. I like that a lot. Blue, white. And then the multicolored. That's actually really nice. I like that. <clears throat> then there's this one. It's just, you know, plain out yellow. And there's, I guess, oh, it goes, it goes. I'm pretty sure this is the one where it changes color. Yeah, it changes color. It's like a breathing, but it changes color, which is really nice. And then we have... Oh, this one, it's its like basically the rainbow, but the whole keyboard. Then, oh, this one's the whole row. It lights up the whole row. I want to see this in the different colors. So we have blue. Blue. Then we have yellow. Then we have purple. Then we have teal, or turquoise, whatever you want to call it. Then we have white. Yeah. And then we have multicolored, which is really cool. 
Ooh. Now this one, this is raindrops. Let's slow that down. I like raindrops when it's slowed down. Yeah, let's see the colors. Like a, yeah, that's, that's cool. Purple, it's all right. Turquoise, pretty nice. White, pretty nice. And then multicolored, pretty nice. Then red, ooh. Red hit different. And then there's this one where the rainbow goes up top, then below, then up top. You just follow the red. Which is nice. That's cool. And then this one. We type, tap, and the whole keyboard lights up. Pretty, pretty nice. And you can do that with different colors. There's red. There's green. Blue. I like a yellow, purple, teal, and white. Those are real nice. And then <clears throat> that's it. Then this one, you can change the color of it. So that's really nice. And yeah, that's about it. Now, the finale. Well, not the finale. But, what you all have been waiting for, the sound test. So this one I'm going to be doing a really, really close mic. Because, mainly because, most, I've, I've been looking at my videos. I mean, you guys, guys could have told me that um, you can barely hear the keyboard. But I'll do a close up, okay? Okay. And now for typing. Now for each key individually. Spacebar, wow. Alt, whatever, M2. Control, function, right, sh right shift, return, and, mark, and backspace. Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P, A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, Z, X, C, V, B, and M. Yeah. Now, that's turned. Okay. Now, for the serious gaming part, I'm going to be going full sweat in a Fortnite Battle Royale game. Not Battle Royale. It's going to be creative. So, okay. And this time I muted my TV because, yeah, you guys couldn't really hear because of the TV.
So, <clears throat> overall, this keyboard is actually, like, really good. Like, hands down, I recommend it. It's hot. Like, this keyboard is outstanding. Really recommend it. It was, well, it was $80, but I got it on sale for 50 And, yeah. So, if you do try to buy it i recommend going on walmart not walmart.com but just search up moto speed gk61 walmart if you search up walmart then you will get blue switches because i've been seeing people complaining about how they're getting white switches the normal like clear switches and walmart is the only place that gives blue switches on this keyboard so, if you would like blue switches, then I recommend you ordering it through um, Walmart. So, yeah. Basically, I'm going to do the rating on the keyboard now. Overall, the, the, um, the RGB 10 out of 10. You know, there's 14 different light modes. It's pretty bright, and there's brightness levels. Um, speed levels, it's just all out good. Switches, really, like, they're not even, they're not even that bad. For Walmart, really good. Um, the keycaps, they have like this, you know, I, I, <laughs> I was gonna say these keycaps are plastic, but most keycaps are plastic, but... Yeah, these keycaps are, you know, very nice. You know, they have, like, this kind of, like, texture they're putting. And, yeah. This keyboard, overall, pretty small. 60%. It might look big on camera, but in person, it's pretty small. And the USB port is in the middle so you can't put any cases like you, like the gk61 you could put a wooden case on it if you wanted but nope not this one and i'm pretty sure these switches are non-hot swappable and i think if you do want to put different switches in it you have to solder them and overall the keyboard probably 10 out of 10 yeah do I recommend buying it? For sure. And is it expensive? 80 bucks for this? Pretty good. And, you know, you could always order you a set of ducky keycaps. Like the Frozen Llama ones. So, that way it makes people think that you have a ducky one too many and it can make you look rich. You know what I'm saying? $300 keyboard, but, or just buy the keyboard, whichever you want, I think I might buy some pink flamingo ones, pink flamingo, um, rubber keycaps, I feel like those would look really good on this, but, anyways, that's the end of the video, guys, um, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down what keyboard I should review next, alright, peace.